Hello everyone, Hellstorm XV here with episode 5 of my Attack of the B Team series. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Um, I have been kind of busy in between episodes. Uh, I completely finished the um, I completely finished the engine room power grid system downstairs. I'll give you a quick looks around there. And here we go. Completely done, finished, refurbished. I know, right? Some of you are probably looking at it like, what a change. That's right. Um, so let me give you a quick rundown of how the system works here. Um, let's go up our little hatch over here. Do, 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 do. And up we go. Okay. So, the way it works. Yeah, these are all excess saplings that I really just don't care about. Can't really be bothered. But the way it works is, ideally... Oh, these got filled up. Ugh, I'm going to have to put another one on top. Anyway, the way it works is the planter plants the seeds. The two harvesters get the seeds. Output uh, excess into this chest just to act as a buffer. I have the pneumatic servos installed there which pull the items out of the chest. And the harvesters produce sludge which is what these tanks are for. Um, it seems to still be operating even at full sludge. I think, it, I think it just decreases its efficiency a little bit. Maybe that's why some of the stuff is being left behind. I don't know. It could be a variety of things. But anyway, I have to upgrade the portable tanks. Um, so the items get pulled out and they go through this duct system over here. These things have servos in them that have a whitelist system. They're whitelisting only saplings, and then once they whitelist, this gets filled with them. As you can see, willow saplings produce very, very, very commonly. Um, the items travel down through here, and they go into this chest right here. Now the reason why there are two of them is because thermal expansions, pipes, being that this is a double chest, thermal expansions, pipes read um, read it as separate inventories so you need one pipe going into each inventory which is why there are two um, there are in total there are four inputs on that um, there are four inputs on this chest the two up here and there are two back here which you can't see oh there you go you can see them slightly two back there now what this chest does is it acts as another buffer which as you can see is quite uh, filled right now so that means that my system is getting some item stuffing, which is fine. I mean, it's not that much of a deal. As you can see, all the items that are backlogged are just flowing in. Um, and then what happens is they get sucked out of this chest. They travel underground, and they go up behind this wall, and they dump out into this chest, which acts as a secondary buffer, which is also full of willow wood. The hopper then, which is also full, <laughs> it pulls the items out and puts them into the furnace. The redstone furnace cooks them up, and they get pulled out of the side. They travel along down here, and then, as you can see, they turn into charcoal, and they go into the deep storage unit, which acts as another buffer, because as items go in, they come out. It acts as a buffer mainly because these things can hold a ridiculous amount of items. So I haven't done it yet, but what I'm going to probably do, and I don't really need to dedicate an episode to this, I'm going to probably make another deep storage unit. They're not that bad to make, actually. And I'm going to probably use it to like filter out all of this wood and stuff like that and all of these things, just so that it's a nice, clean, flowing system. Um, this is currently what I'm using to store all these excess saplings. As you can see, 2,369 of them. Um, you know. So that's going to probably be something I'm going to do as a little side project. You know, I'll probably have maybe, I'll pump, I'll blacklist something, or I'll just have the excess pull out and go into here. Something like that. I don't know. Um, so what I did in the power side of things, um, I upgraded all the conduits. All the conduits now are hardened energy conduits. They're no longer leadstone. They're hardened, which has 400 uh, max carry. And I put them into a hardened energy cell, which is over here. Now this charges up, and this acts as the battery that p f powers my entire base. The lines run from here. They go through the wall over here. Um, they go up to the planter, the harvesters, um, they power the furnace, they power every, they power the base. They even power my induction smelter, they power up here. Everything is being powered 
by the energy grid down there. And as you can see, the amount of charcoal flow is phenomenal. There is not a single issue with charcoal flow. 64, 62, 64, 64, 57, 44. And that's why these things, they just flow on through. They go in. Oh, that inventory is full. All right, let me bounce on back and move on to the next one. And then that's full. Okay. And move on down the line. And by the time it gets to this end of the line here, it'll wind up going back. And then these will need some. So it's really a constant flowing system, which is why there's not there's no backlog over here. Actually, I could probably take this and make it a chest and instead of a deep storage unit. Although I like the way the deep storage unit looks. It's pretty cool. I kind of like it. It blends in with the floor and the, uh, you know, the finesse of the room, if you will. Um, so what else did I do? Uh, it's, oh, I tidied up, tidied up the base a bit. Um, you know, now there's like, there's not just spots of stuff everywhere. And I totally got rid of Optifine and totally got rid of the shaders. And as you can see, I am moving much, much, much better. Optifine just wasn't good for the mod pack. I mean, they say it's an FPS boost increase, and don't get me wrong, I've used Optifine almost in every single one of my, uh, you know, Minecraft endeavors. And it always was an FPS booster. It was a great, but it just it just didn't get along with Attack of the B Team. You know, maybe I had something configured wrong. I don't know. Um, and this is all done. It's nighttime out, so I wanted to show you what else we did. This is for a shout out to one of my viewers, uh, Lots of Hugs, aka Blacked Out. He loves this aspect of a, of um, the mod pack, which as soon as I get out of this little hole, I'll show you. He loves this aspect. This one's for you. Yeah, that's right. I have a sniper rifle. I certainly do. And um, it's got some pretty nasty range. One and two. Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Reload. There we go. Okay, so this is amazing. I love this. It's just I that's why I made the fence here. Because this is just my porch where I just blast things. Yeah, they can come in from the top, but it's not a big deal to me. It doesn't bother me. Um love it. Fantastic. Great fun sniping them from my porch. Absolutely great fun. And I know while he's watching that he is probably laughing hysterical right now. Um because, oh, that's other news, um, I actually made an Attack of the B-Team server that I will also be recording a series on, and that series will be multiplayer aspect of it, PvP allowed, so there will be plenty of blood to be shed. Uh, but that's enough for, like, the intro and what I've basically been up to. Um, so what do I want to do in this episode? Well, oh, hello. Just rude of you. What do I want to do in this episode? In this episode, to be honest, I think I'm going to work with Liquid XP. Because I have so much XP, and I died quite a few times in between episodes. As you can see, my experience is down to 32. So I have died quite a few times. And I don't like it. Oh, of course. Of course. I just fixed that, too. Anyway, um, so I think I'm going to probably do some liquid EXP this episode, you know, because I've died numerous times. You know, playing on hard mode is so much fun, but it is, it can be at times hard. Like, as you saw, Creeper just, you know, normally the thing would have been dead. Wasn't. Um, you know, if I didn't have armor, I would have been destroyed by it. Um, and I want to... I want to do, like, I want to be able to keep my experience points because I want to be able to do enchanting, you know, when we go and fight stuff, I want to be able to do all that stuff, like, I want to be able to be powered up, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so I think Liquid EXP is great, um, because, well, it stores all my EXP in liquid form. Um, it's a brand new mod to me, I have not used it in the past. 
I know it is a quite popular mod. That much I know. A lot of servers and mod packs contain liquid XP because it's just a great way to, well, condense your XP. So we're going to do a little bit of that today. That'll probably take us, I don't know, I, like I said, I've never played with it before, so I don't know how much of the episode it will take. It might take the whole episode. It might take 10 minutes of the episode. I really don't know. Um, I did do some research on it. You know, I know the basic understanding of it. You know, enough to get stuff going. Um, and yeah, so enough of me filling in the hole. So let's work with some liquid XP. I did do some looking up of it, but like I said, there's still stuff that I have no idea about. So let's just look at liquid XP. Liquid XP. Uh, can you know liquid XP? Okay. So we obviously need a collector. We're going to need an absorber. We're going to need a catalyzer because as far as I know what the catalyzer does is it allows the, um, like if you're using a mob spawner or something like that or an absorber, it allows it to be collected, I believe. Like otherwise it just doesn't get collected. Um, so yeah. Now like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, I did some very little research you know nothing nothing like uh oh i know exactly what i'm talking about nothing like that so i will probably reference the uh you know i will probably reference the um wiki of it which i have up on my second monitor um because well i don't want to just do an episode where i have no idea what i'm talking about so that's uh you know something to keep Mind. So let's start off. Where should we put our li liquid XP? You know, we should probably... I really like this room, and I'd like to use more of it. So maybe we'll put it in here. You know, break down some walls. You know what? I don't know where we should put it. I don't know how advanced it's going to get either. So how about we... Yeah, what I should have done in between episodes is I should have, like, set up a room for Liquid XP, but, uh, I didn't. So, let's just... You know what? I know what we'll do. We'll go set up Liquid XP outside, and then in between this episode and the other, I'll move it into a new room. This way you guys aren't just sitting here watching me dig, because that would be boring. So first thing for liquid XP is we're going to want to get the absorber, which allows us to collect the liquid XP that we have. So we're going to need some stone, a pressure plate, and a bucket. So let's get our stuff from the blocks chest. We have stone. We have the bucket is in our misc. Okay. And a pressure plate is very simple with stone and stone. There we go. Pressure plate. And let's make the absorber. There we go. Liquid XP absorber. So what we'll do with this is we'll just set it up in a little area outside somewhere. Hello, spider. For you, lots of hugs. <laughs> I'll never get bored of that. Anyway, um, let's set it up. You know what? Let's set it up right here. And like I said, I'm going to probably move it. So, you know, it's whatever. Um, so I know for this you stand on top of it. So do we want to put it one in the ground? Eh, nah, we don't need to. Alright, so you stand on that and I know it absorbs your liquid. Uh, it absorbs your XP and turns it into liquid. So we have 33 levels. Let's go. Um, well, I don't know if it's supposed to be that slow. I am confused. Is it? No. Shift? No. It absorbed one level. Okay. Right. I don't know why. 
why this isn't working. Well, so much for liquid XP. Stand. Yeah, it's absorbing, but it only absor it's not like constantly absorbing. Is it supposed to constantly absorb? Is it? I can't even right click it to see like if there's like a internal thing or whatever. That is weird. Very, very weird. Hmm. Well, let me see if there is a. Let me see the bucket. Let me see if there's um. There is stuff inside. And like I said, this mod is entirely new to me. So you guys might be shouting at me in the comments. You're doing it wrong. Well, I know I am. That's what you guys are here for. I read the comments. I need some help and some guidance because, well, I'll be lost. Yeah, that's not working at all. This is not working. Anyway, let's see what else we can do here. If we get the, uh, if we get the liquid XP thing, we have the collector, which apparently isn't working, even though you're supposed to be able just to stand on top of it, and it works. Um, but it's not. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. You know what? I don't like this mod anymore. I'm not going to spend the spotlight on it and not... Oh, you have armor. I'm not going to spend the spotlight on it and it's not going to really work. I've already wasted enough time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the thing here. Um, you guys can leave a comment about it. Um, you know, tell me, maybe I'm doing something wrong. I mean, as far as I know, though, you get the collector, you stand on the collector, and it collects your EXP, it puts it into an internal buffer, you can use that to ship, to ship it into, like, tanks and stuff like that. You take that, you then use a liquid, uh, I think it's an imprinter, and you can make medallions and put it on the medallions. You can use enchanting and all that stuff. That's what I, my knowledge of it is. But I'm not going to waste my time on it. I'm going to have to research it more. Um, so I'm going to cut here, and I will be right back with something new and fresh. All right, and we are back. So I figured out something that I was going to do, that I'm going to do in place of liquid XP. And that is going to be interesting. I figure it will work well with our new sniper rifle. So, here's what we are going to work on. We are going to work on Archimedes. Archimedes ships. That's right. We are going to make ourselves a boat. Um, to do so, we're going to need some wool. Uh, so, let's see. Wool, wool, wool. I don't have actual wool, but I have string. Where are you, string? There it is string. So we got to turn some string, we're going to turn it into some wool here. Uh, we're not going to make a very large boat. It's going to be us and our sniper. So it should be quite fun. Uh, so because we're going to make a sh uh, we're going to make a boat, we're going to need some of the floaters which are regular oak wood and a piece of wool. Uh, oak wood is in my blocks. So let's make some floaters. I believe five should be fine. Okay, so we have our floaters. We need to design the actual boat now. So let's do that. Uh, I am not a good boat builder. Just going to put that out there right now. Um, just saying. So let's see. Put that there. And we'll start building our boat right here. Yes, I'm using iron. Now, I don't know, I know iron doesn't, you know, doesn't really f float the best, but hey, um, you know, it's iron, so why not have a boat made out of iron, you know what I mean? Why not, right? Uh, I think, I think that should be good, actually. You don't need many floaters for, uh, making a ship, I mean... I don't know if there's a formula. I really honestly don't know. I have plenty of blocks of iron, so it's not even a big thing for me. And I have more, like, look at all the iron I have. I just put that wrong. Look at all the iron 
I have upstairs just waiting to be dumped out of my, uh, uh, it's just waiting to be dumped out of my thing. Let's see, where is it? No, that's not going to be dumped out. Yeah, that's all molten iron. 72 ingots of iron waiting to be dumped out and turned into blocks. So I'm not concerned about iron. Um, oh, by the way, interface for the Flans mod. This is how you make your weapons. You gotta follow what the recipe says. And then you put it in the bottom. And like you can make the drag knob, the R70, the Barrett 50 caliber, which is what I have, the M16, AK-47, G3, Scorpion. Um, you can make a sawn-off shotgun. You can make there's so many different things. Uh, ro rocket launcher. I mean, there's just there's so many different things. Anyway, back to boat building. Uh, I should have probably got more iron. Yeah, I should have got more iron. So what we're gonna do is the idea. You know what? Put some gold in there too. Why not? Probably not gonna need all that. But uh, that, and then, do we have more decorative stuff? Yeah, we'll put jungle wood. Okay. Yes, this boat's gonna be a disaster, but it's gonna be a boat. So, all right. So we have the iron, the floater, the iron. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the gold is going to go let's see the gold can go like here I am like I said I am terrible at building boats I am not a boat builder please do not think I am for I am not and so we're going to build another one here like that and don't need this anymore Actually, you know what? We might. I might. You know what? I don't think I do. And then I'm going to take the other stone here. And you can go like this. And then gold. Gold. Okay. And like that. And then we're going to have this. And then this is going to be iron. Floater, iron, iron, floater, iron. Okay, so that's the base of it, basically. Now, I don't know if I need more floaters. I hope I don't. I mean, if my boat starts sinking, well then, I needed more. And, let's see, for the floor, we'll do this. This will be That's the front, that's the back. And then what we'll do... I'm going to need more blocks of iron. Should have counted. Alright, now hopefully this works. I saw some uh, posts on the forum saying that Archimedes ships isn't working. I've seen so many different things. But then again, uh, I also saw posts on the forum saying that people, that the morph mod was broken. It wasn't broken. They just didn't know how to, well, change out of their morph. So this is a very basic ship that looks ugly as sin, but nevertheless, it's okay um, for the purpose of this little uh, little episode here, since it is, since we are limited on time. Um, also, what we're gonna need now is you need the what is it? You need, I think, the ship helm or something like that. Uh, it would be nice if I could spell Archimedes 
ships correctly. Helm. We're also going to need some gauges. Glass pane, iron, gold, redstone. Glass pane. Is that? I think that's six, right? Glass panes are six, I believe. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. So we need glass panes. We don't need the wood anymore. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need you. Uh, so we got the ship helm, we got the glass panes, we need two iron, one redstone, two gold. So the iron I have, the redstone, and the gold. Now like I said, I actually um, am going to be making another uh, series that's going to run alongside this one. It's going to be the multiplayer counterpart to this mod, which I think will be amazingly fun. Um, I have a couple of my friends. It's a whitelist server. Uh, I got my friends. They're playing um, Attack of the B Team, and I think it is going to be fantastic. PvP, witchery. It's going to be fun. All right, so we got that, and I think we just have to put the gauge on top. I forgot to make the gauge because I'm an idiot. Yes, you are, Hailstorm. Yes, you are. Measurement gauge. There we go. And it's my server. I own it. Um, it should be pretty fun. So check out my channel, subscribe, um, so you can take a look. All right, so let's see if our ship works. Boom. Oh, yeah. We are on a boat. That's right. Now. Yeah. I am on a ship. Now, you can also... Um, it doesn't matter if you move your character. It's I'm in full control of the boat right now. Um, yeah, isn't this awesome? Way to sail the seas. Who needs squid form when you got an ironclad battleship ready to go? Oh, I'm not sinking, am I? No, I'm not sinking. Okay. Um, so this is Archimedes ship mod. Let's see. Can I use my items from here? That would be amazing. Can I? Can I? Can I? I'm sinking. No, I'm not. I feel like I'm sinking. Can I use this? Any squid hunting? Any squid? No squid? Oh, no squid. Let's see. So I think this is a very interesting way to end the episode. Oh, -ho! we have a port village. This is the one from earlier that we said, right? Yeah. Hello there. I am a pirate, and I am about to raid your junk. Oh, I think you press C to stop the ship, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm about to raid your town. Let's see here. We got, uh... Getting a little seasick from this. Uh, they're all hiding inside because it's dark out. Come out! I'm going to raid this town. And then call it my own. I'm going to get some treasure. And you can make flying ships, actually. Oh, there we go. Epic. Walking Dead Hailstorm Season. That's right. Yeah. That's hard to get used to. Oh, yeah. That's right. Battleship. That's right. Got my turret gun. Move my ship around. So yeah, this is Walking Dead, uh, Hailstorm Season. Uh, I hope you all... I mean, this is just... This is just... I'm on a ship. Oh, Creepers. Can't catch me. Yeah, this is just... This is... This is... 
beautiful moonlight, beautiful stars in the sky kind of crash. Beautiful stars, nice red moon, exploring the seas. You. All right, well, I can go on and on with this because it is just so amazing. Like, I, I, I don't, I can't, I'm just having so much fun doing this. Like, I, I, I don't even, I, there's no words to describe how fun this is. I, I want to make a flying one now. I just want to make a flying ship and just, like, fly with my sniper rifle in hand. Although I imagine the flying would probably be a little harder to control, um, you know, controlling your pitch and your roll and all that stuff. I imagine this is probably a tad bit easier. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Attack of the B Team, Episode 5. It has been one hell of an adventure, and it's only been five episodes. And you know what? Who needs liquid XP? But we got sniper rifles, one-shot killing creepers, and a boat that just is a boat. I mean, like, really. What's the dismount? I think they said left shift was dismount, right? Left shift? Yeah. Look look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's my boat. Oh, it attacked. It took the cobblestone. I'm wondering why <laughs> it took the cobblestone with the boat. I'll probably fix that. It's not a big deal, though. But that is the, uh, we're going to christen that the, um, USS Mini, Mini Storm. That's the USS Mini Storm. Um, it has equipped with the pilot who has a sniper rifle, and it is a force to indeed be reckoned with. Anyway, everybody, I hope you had fun. That was a blast. If you have any suggestions, please, as always, leave a comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, you know, I'm always putting out I'm always putting out content when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, you know, and now I'm going to be doing the multiplayer series, which I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy. So please, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, my peeps, I will see you, and I hope you...